Coming up on this edition of Inside the Tribe, it's all about the seniors this week on our annual senior episode. You'll get an inside look at some of the seniors' future plans. Mr. Diggle recognizes some of our senior athletes. Ms. Day recognizes the senior co-op students. And the teachers send some special shout-outs to our seniors. Plus, you'll see the annual montage of senior pictures and hear what some of our seniors plan to do in the future. Inside the Tribe starts right now. Thanks for joining us on this week's edition of Inside the Tribe. I am Ms. Tien. And I'm Ms. Dawson. Chromebook and textbook check-in for seniors will start on May 11th and continue through May 14th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. daily. On May 11th, if your last name begins with an A, you may bring Chromebooks and textbooks back from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. If your last name begins with a B, from 9 to noon. And if your last name begins with a C, from noon to 1. On May 12th, which is my birthday, if your last name begins with a D or an E, you may come from 8 to 9, F through H from 9 to noon, and if your last name w begins with an I through L, noon to 1. On May 13th, if your last name begins with an M, you may return your items from 8 to 10, N through P, 10, through, 10 to 11, and if your last name begins with an R, from 11 to 1. On May 14th, if your last name ends in an S, you may return your textbooks and Chromebooks from 8 to 10. If your last name begins with a T, 10 to 11, and last names ending in U through Z, 11 to 1. On May 15th, cap and down gown distribution will be in the parking lot and Jostens will run this. On days when you are coming into the school to return items or retru retrieve items from your locker, you will need to bring your own bag. Students and any adult that accompanies the student will need to wear gloves and a mask when they enter the building per the state of Illinois. And please enter the school from the main entrance by the gym. A message from Mr. Green. It is with great pleasure that I inform you that Blake Alexander and Justin Owens helped collect 305 pints of blood this year, earning them a $1,500 scholarship each. Congrats to Justin Owens and Blake Alexander. This week is Teacher Appreciation Week, and our student council does such a fantastic job of honoring our EPCHS faculty. To kick off Teacher Appreciation Week, here are the winners of the 2020 Teacher Superlatives. Here are your Teacher Superlative winners for 2020. First up, school mom and dad are none other than Mr. and Mrs. Yoakum. Most likely to brighten your day, Mrs. Jenny Lamb and Mr. Justin Yang. Most likely to be an undercover FBI agent, Mrs. Jen Wrigley and Mr. Kevin Collins. Most likely to win at Jeopardy, Mr. Ben Diggle and Mr. Brian Disney. Class Clowns, Mr. Brett Gonigam and Miss Kate Romeo. Best Dressed, Mrs. Caitlin Arnold and Mr. Zach Fleming. Most Creative, Miss Emily Lohman and Mr. Billy Simmons. Best Advice, we get that from Mr. Marty Green and Mrs. Marianne Day. Most likely to write a bestseller, Mr. Phil Johns and Mrs. Casey Pfeiffer. Most likely to have a fan club, Miss Hannah Church and Mr. Adam Schneblin. Most likely to bust out and dance, Mrs. Erica Fleming and Miss Jill Dawson. Most likely to have their own reality TV show, Mrs. Kayla Bone and Mr. Cameron Stanley. Most caffeinated, Mr. Alex Van Winkle and Mr. Josh Childs. Most likely to be in the Olympics, Miss Amy Jones and Mr. Brad Boris. Teacher role model, Mrs. Tammy Coughlin and Mr. Matt Plummer. 
And there you go with your teacher superlatives of 2020. Our first shout out comes from Mrs. Nelson. Ms. Nelson would like to give a shout out to the students meeting me on Zoom to talk books and non-pandemic things. I miss you guys terribly and I can't wait to see you sooner than later. Ms. Nelson would like to give another shout out to the EP staff members who have taken care of her repeatedly during this quarantine. Ms. Nelson said thanks to Ms. Romeo for the Clorox wipes, Mr. Diggle for the paint, Ms. Horn and Ms. Armitch for the masks, Ms. Dawson for the toilet paper, and Ms. Bowles for the treats. I'm so lucky to work with you every day. Whether in person or not, you guys are sick and I love you. Emma Hall would like to give a shout out to Mr. Simmons for making her laugh on last week's Inside the Tribe. Emma said, when we're in school, he would always bring a smile to my face. I can't wait to get back to school to see Mr. Simmons. Ms. Brunn would like to give a shout out to Brooke Nelson for sending out the weekly library ghost protocol and free reading sources. Ms. Brunn said, Ms. Nelson's humor simply makes my day. Ms. Brunn would like to give another shout out to recognize all of the teacher co-hosts and Ms. Effervescent Jill Dawson for bringing so many great laughs through Inside the Tribe to the faculty, staff, and students during this challenging time. Ms. Brunn also wants to commend Dr. Gruder for dealing with the ever-changing impact the coronavirus is having upon Illinois schools. She also added, EP faculty, staff, and students rock. Our last shout out comes from Mrs. Thornton, who said, thank you to our students and parents that are working so hard during remote learning. We appreciate you. Coming up, you'll see some of our senior spring athletes and co-op students recognized. Plus, teachers leave their heartfelt messages to the senior class. And again, we have the obligatory senior video montage, and we'll hear from the seniors themselves what their future plans are. It's Senior Night 2020, and we're here to honor spring sports seniors. Our first senior up is Eliana Burwell from Track and Field. Ellie's a pole vaulter, as you can see there. She is the daughter of Emily and William Turpin, and she is also a four-year member of the volleyball team. Our next senior is Allie Eckberg, the daughter of Matthew and Michelle Eckberg. Allie's been a four-year member of the track team, as well as a member of National Honor Society and Link Crew. Her college plans include ICC for a year before transferring to Western Carolina University to major in pre-law. Our next senior is Abigail Egemeyer, who is also a four-year member of the track team. She's also a cheerleader, a member of the student council, best buddies, and link crew, and she will be attending the University of North Alabama to major in nursing with the intent of going pre-med. Our next senior night honoree is Sandra Ganem, the daughter of Andy and Carol Ganem. Sandra is a four-year member of both the softball and cheerleading squads. She's the president of Girl Up, as well as a member of National Honor Society and Key Club. She's a four-year member of the Honor Roll and an Illinois State Scholar. She's headed to Arizona State to study business law. 
Our next senior is softball player Monique Hoosen. Monique was the 2019 Journal Star Player of the Year in softball. She's headed to Butler on a softball scholarship. Our next senior is Tweed McPhee, the daughter of Carol and Garth McPhee. She's a four-year member of the varsity soccer team as well as Lincoln Crew and Revive. She'll attend Fontbonne University and she will participate on the dance team there. Next up is softball player Amanda McGarity. While at EP, Amanda has also been an all-conference golfer, an Illinois State Scholar, a National Merit Scholar, and a member of National Honor Society. She will attend Southern Illinois University at Edwardsville to study pre-dental medicine. Our next senior athlete is Krista Messer, the daughter of Rich and Cindy Messer. Krista is a two-year cross-country and track and field captain. While at East Peoria, she's been a member of Link Crew, a member of National Honor Society, the Student Council, and the Student Council Executive Board. She's headed to Illinois Wesleyan University to study nursing. Our next senior athlete is baseball player Hunter Stewart. Hunter is the son of Anthony and Kelly Stewart. He's a two-year member of the varsity baseball and golf squads. He's an Illinois State Scholar and plans to attend Southern Illinois University at Edwardsville to major in mechanical engineering. Our next senior athlete is baseball player Chase Ulrich. Chase is the son of Shirley Ulrich and Brian Meeks and the grandson of the late great Norm Ulrich. Last year, Chase was a first-team all-conference infielder and a McDonald's All-Star. He's headed to ICC on a baseball scholarship where he plans to major in sports medicine. Our final senior athlete is Jolene Varquez, the daughter of Joseph and Corazon Varquez. While at East Peoria, Jolene has not only been a member of the track and field team, but also a member of the basketball team, the speech team, student council, and the National Honor Society. She is weighing attending Bradley University or an appointment to the Naval Academy. Thank you, seniors, for your hard work and dedication. My name is Allie Eckberg and I plan on attending ICC for a year before transferring to Western Carolina University to be a pre-law major. I'm Winnie Cousin. I'm going to be attending Butler University this fall and I'm going to be studying exploratory studies to then become a biology major and I am also continuing my softball career. Go Bulldogs! Peyton Boyle, ICC. Um, undecided currently but I'm hoping to make the vocal jazz and figure it out along the way. Hi, my name is Cassandra Miller, and in the fall, I'll be studying elementary education at Bradley University. I'm Kristen Messer, and I'm majoring in nursing at Illinois Wesleyan University. I'm going to Eureka College to study pre-pharmacy with a chemistry major and Spanish minor. Hi, I'm Sandra Ganem. I'm going to Arizona State next year. I'm going to be majoring in business law. I'm Jenna Crabo, and after high school, I plan on attending Florida Southwestern State College to become a neonatal nurse. My name is Belle Reichstra, and I will be attending Grand Canyon University in Phoenix, Arizona to study business management, and I will also be studying within their Honors College. Hi, uh, my name is Jacob Higgins. Uh, this fall, I am planning to attend Bradley University, and uh, I'm going to major in mechanical engineering. I'm Morgan and I will be attending Truman State University this fall where I will be studying psychology on a preoccupational therapy track. After high school, I will be attending Fontbonne University where I will be on the dance team. Hi, I'm Abby Eggmeyer. I'm going to be attending University of North Alabama in the fall. I'm going to be majoring in nursing with intensive going pre-med. My name is Safe Board, and I'm going to go to ICC for two years and then transfer to another college. And I'm going to get a major in marketing and a minor in communications. Hi, I'm Amanda McGarity, and I'm going to Southern Illinois University for pre dental medicine. I would like to give a shout out to the group of students I had um, for Enriched English their freshman year. You guys really left just a mark on me. You guys made me laugh and made my job a lot of fun. So definitely you guys are a group that will stick with me for the rest of my career. Good luck in everything you guys do. I know you're going to be great. Hi guys. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for everything, for choosing to take my class. For those of you who have been in it for two years, I hope you've had a fun time. For those of you who've stuck it out for three and four years, thanks for putting up with me. Um, it's been wonderful getting to know you guys over this time. 
I know this isn't ending the way you wanted it to, but you all are going to do so many great things that this is just going to be a small blip in your, your whole life history. I miss you guys. I love you guys. And congratulations. Hi, uh, Mrs. Fleming here. Um, my first senior shout out, um, I would like to give um, to the seniors from this year's production of The Addams Family. Um, I've been doing the musicals at the high school as a choreographer for about eight years now, um, so I always get sad um, at the end of a show. This year's group, you guys are particularly special to me. Oh my God, I'm crying already. You, you guys remember that last show? Oh my God, I was a nightmare. I was a mess. Um, I love you all so much. And I'm so proud of the people that you are, the work that you guys put into the show, and just everything. You guys are the best. Um, I wish you all nothing but happiness. Um, continue to do shows. Continue to let that artistic side of you shine because it is so needed in our world. Um, and whenever you're in a show, tell me so I can come watch you. I love you all. Class of 2020, I want to congratulate you for all working through perhaps one of the wildest and most possibly challenging times of your life. You were presented with uh, an unprecedented challenge with COVID-19 and came out on top by earning your diploma. I'm sad for the memories you hope to have had but will not. However, your resiliency is your strength and you will come through this stronger because of it. I wish you all the best and we'll miss, miss each and every one of you. Always remember that life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. God bless you all. The Yoakums would like to give a shout out to Mason Becker. Congratulations on your senior year. And as always, remember, stay out of trouble. Senior classes, Miss Everly and I just wanted to wish you the best of luck. Uh, I am really glad that I got to share my first year with you and get to know all of you. And uh, I hope that you all have a great time after graduation. Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to say good luck to you and thank you for sharing my 25th year with me. I've enjoyed you and um, I miss seeing you. Wish we could have spent the last days, last weeks of your senior year together. Take care and be well. Hey class of 2020, this is Mrs. Thornton here, and I wanted to let you know that we really missed seeing you this spring. This certainly isn't the way that we had hoped to end the year. I wish you the very best in your future. Good luck to you all. Hi seniors, I cannot believe that you guys are about to graduate already. Whether I've had you for three years or just one semester, please know that I will miss you and that I wish the best for you. So go forth and dream big and make yourselves proud. And don't forget to come back and visit us every now and again. Uh, no one was ever going to forget the class of 2020. So congratulations, you did it. I'd like to give a shout out to the class of 2020. I know when this school year started, this is in no way how you imagined it would end. But remember, you will always be known as East Peoria Raiders of class of 2020, the class that was handed lemons and made Raider lemonade out of it. Congratulations. I'd like to give a shout out to Blake Griffin. Thanks for being a leader on our soccer team this year, and I wish you the best in your future. Hi, I have two shout outs to seniors. Um, and the first one is Allie Dean. So Allie Dean um, started helping me in the library when she was a freshman and she became really big in book club as a freshman and she's only been more involved ever since. So I've gotten to see Allie Dean grow from a tiny little scared freshman to a confident senior who's ready to go to college and uh, take on the world. So that's been wonderful and she's been so helpful to me and it's been great um, becoming closer to her and I love her. The other one is Aaliyah Goble, and Aaliyah's been working on and off in the library um, for a few years, and the last two years, she's been extremely helpful, coming in all the time, even when she doesn't have to, um, to help me and uh, do anything that she can uh, to keep the library in order and helping other students, and that's been really wonderful to see, too. And both of these girls, um, I, I couldn't run the library the way that it runs without them. So I hope that they are having 
as much of a senior year as possible right now. And I'm so sorry that all of this has happened, but um, just know that those two are, are my BFFs for life in the library. Hey seniors, we miss you. Congratulations on graduating. It's been an absolute pleasure to watch you guys grow over the last four years academically and athletically. I can't wait to see what a lot of you are gonna accomplish in your life. Please come back and visit us anytime. Hey, what's up, everybody? Want to give a shout out to all the seniors. You know, this last year's it sucked, man. You know, but you guys are gonna persevere. I've had a lot of you guys in class, and as long as you keep doing what you're gonna be doing, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna make it, okay? Uh, individually, though, wanted to give a shout out to Tristan Westbay. I've never had the opportunity to work with and coach a player, a student uh, that works as hard as Westbay does and does everything asked of him. Wants to win. Wants to be the best that he can be. Wants to improve the people around him. So shout out to him. Also wanted to give a shout out to the Bradford brothers. Um, one of you guys is kind of pain in the butt. You know which one you are. And then the other one, a little bit lazy. You know which one you are. Uh, but you know what? Fantastic dudes and a lot of fun to coach and be around. Also shout out to Lindsey Eisenhart and Faith Bavard. You guys just stuck it out in my AP class. And this sucks. It's got to go down this way. But I know that you guys are going to be great. And you're going to be fantastic. And you're going to make it through this stuff so good job uh there's so many of you i've had in class I, I you know shout out to each and every one of you guys but um you know hey I, we ain't got time for all that it'll be it'll be a 20 minute inside the tribe if i picked each and every student and was like hey shout out so all of you guys good luck you got this i'd also like to give a senior shout out to one of my favorite people in the entire world let alone the entire school one in the entire world the happiest human I've ever had the pleasure of knowing in my life, Mason Becker. Buddy, you're the best. I just love you so much. Uh, had you as a freshman in my science class, and we've been best buds um, all four years of your high school career. I cannot imagine the halls of East Peoria High School without you. I, I, I simply can't. When we go back, I'll probably cry. Let's be real. Um, but Mason, you're the best. Um, I can't wait to see what you do with your future. I know you're going to work hard and stay positive and happy um, through it all. And yes, we can be Facebook friends now. Hi, class of 2020. It's Mrs. Spears giving you a shout out from San Antonio, Texas. Still repping my EP gear. I know I taught a lot of you and coached some of you. And I just wanted to make sure you guys all know that I, I love you and I miss you. And I know this year didn't quite go as planned. Um, but your next adventure is just around the corner. And I'm so excited for you to head in that direction. And best of luck on your next adventure. Hey, guys. A lot of you might not know me. This is my first year at the high school as the front office receptionist. And even though I didn't see a lot of you all the time, I saw many of you every day come into school. Even if it was a little bit late, later is better than never. You know who you are. And I know Tweet's probably super embarrassed right now that I'm doing this video, but I don't care. I wanted to say that everyone is proud of you. I'm proud of you, your family, your friends, your teachers. Everything you've done has been worth it. All those long hours on your art projects, studying for a test, play rehearsals, practicing at the gym for that big game. Don't think it was all for nothing just because your senior year was cut short. That is the craziest thing you could think right now. All these years, these are memories you've made, new friendships, experiences. It's all worth it. And I know many of you have big plans for your future, whether it's going to college or pursuing a, a skilled trade or starting your own business. And even some of you might not know what to do. And I want to tell you, that's okay. I don't even know what I want to do, but I'm blessed to be here and see you every day. I miss everyone. I miss coming to work, talking to you guys, talking with all the students, getting to know your cool hip lingo, even though I'm not even that old, I still don't know what you guys are saying half the time. I just love it. So just stay positive during this tough time. It's all we can do. And just know it will get better. We miss you and we're proud of you. Seniors, you've grown so much since I've seen you as freshmen. I'm proud of who you've become and I hope you become stronger and more resilient and learn more every day. Congratulations on graduation. Like the game.
give a shout out to our babysitter, Jenna. The Yoakums appreciate and we will miss Jenna Cribo so much next year. Thanks for being an awesome role model to these two little wee ones. And we are so excited to see what the future holds for you. Hello, Raiders. Just want to say, seniors, we are going to miss you. So many of you I have known since you were in kindergarten. Okay, stop. Some cry. Okay, I'll jump in. Okay. I haven't known you since kindergarten, many of you, except for maybe one of you. But I am going to miss you so much. And this is not the way we envisioned your year in to be. But I want to say, this is not the end. This is just the beginning. And I want you to look at this as a launching pad for the rest of your life. I wish you the very best. And we look forward to seeing what you are going to be doing in four or five years. You're just a strong group of kids, and you're just, it's been a fun four years. From freshman year when you were coming in our room and running through the hallway to just have an actual adult conversations now. And where you're going is just very interesting. So we will miss you tremendously. Yes, we will. And stay strong. We you're hope the best. Group. And group. once a Raider... Good luck, seniors. Hi, class of 2020. Just wanted to wish you good luck in all of your future endeavors, whether that's college or trade school or military or going straight into the workforce. Um, just wanted to tell you that I am very proud of you and I wish you the best of luck moving forward. Hey, guys. Life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react to it. This school year was not at all how we anticipated it. It did not end the way any of us wanted it to. I'm sure we all wish we could come back to that last day and say our goodbyes and do things a little bit different. Please know that we are all thinking about you, and I hope that you can choose to put your attitude in a good spot in regards to this situation. It is your story to tell. You guys are seniors in this quarantine year. I can't even imagine what you are going to be able to tell people about your experience. So I hope you can start looking at it in a, in a new way of, wow, this is, this is my story that I get to tell. To my students specifically in my classes, my seniors, I miss you so much. I try to do this without crying. I thank you for making my job as a teacher easy because of the way that you treat me. Please continue to treat people kindly and with respect because it will take you so, so far in life. And one last time, here's the candy dish. I love you all so much. Good luck. Bye. My shout out is gonna to go to all the seniors. I am so sorry that your senior year ended unlike you really expected. Um, my heart breaks for you guys and I just wanna thank you for being such a wonderful class. There's quite a few of you that I got to be really close to and you were so much fun to have in class and to even see you during the school day. So good luck to all of you. I wish you the very best and please come back and visit because you will be greatly missed. Love you guys, bye. Hi seniors. So there's this quote that I really like from a movie and it goes a little bit like this. Beginnings are usually scary, endings are often sad but it's what's in the middle that counts. Your beginning as a freshman was probably pretty scary. You didn't know what laid ahead of you for the next four, year of your, four years of your life. In the end, well, it's really sad for you guys because you didn't get the last six weeks of your senior year. But what I want you to do is I want you to remember the middle the middle years, the fun nights with your friends, athletic events, being in the tribe, competing at speech competitions, band competitions, all of the fun things that you did. Remember the middle because that's what counts. 
go off and do big things in your life. Have fun. Don't let anybody tell you how to live your life or what to do. Be who you are because life is short and it goes by really fast. So have fun, do big things, and always remember to have a great Raider day. In that 12 passenger van in a small club in Minnesota and the snow outside of first half. I just wanted my name in the star. I look at where we at, still growing up. Still growing up. I would lay in my bed and dream about what I've become. Couldn't wait to get older. Couldn't wait to be some. Now that I'm here, wishing I was still young. Those good old days. I wish somebody would have told me, babe. close the show. I just want to send a special special message to the senior kiddos who have worked on ITT with me this year. It's no secret Inside the Tribe is very special to me because it highlights all of the good positive things that come out of EPCHS and that's all of you. The students, the faculty, our tribe. Because of this the communications kiddos past and present then become that much more special to me. They are creative, fun, hardworking, and help give life to the show. Some of my best days are Friday taping days spent in Channel 22, laughing at outtakes, watching the segments for the first time with the kids in the studio, continuously warning the anchors that the microphones pick up everything, and occasionally telling Aiden and RP to take their AirPods out before taping. When working together as a team for an episode and sharing parts of our life with not only you as the audience, but with each other in communications class, the students in the class become more like a family. Even though I think of every student that sits in my class as one of my own kids, the ITT kids will forever leave little marks on my heart. 
I want to extend my sincerest gratitude for a fun year to the following kiddos. To the seniors who were juniors in last year's class that started this year's shows and happily did anything I asked of them, Sandra, Belle, Jolene, Jake Higgins, Isaac, Cassandra, and Caleb, you are the best. I couldn't have started the year without you and I'm forever grateful for your willingness to help and volunteer your time. To this year's ITT seniors, Zach, RP, Jackson, Callie, Dumplin, Jake Huff, Sam, Faith, Little Chief, Abby, and Aiden. I've had the best time with all of you this year. You tested my patience at times, but then always brought a smile back to my face when you do something to make me laugh. Your ideas for segments and adding the weekly Raider weather report will have lasting effects and will forever be your legacy. You did amazing work for the community with the work you did for the Michael P. Brown Colon Cancer Foundation and for the videos you made to help the junior high students navigate their way through school next year. I will forever miss your crazy ideas, your shenanigans, and your fun, funny personalities. Lastly, there are three seniors I would like to individually recognize. Jake Higgins, Abby Agamire, and Faith Bavard. In some way, shape, or form, you three have been a part of the ITT family since you were freshmen. I've never had any other students be a part of Inside the Tribe for as long as the three of you, and I cannot deny that your willingness to help make the show a success, even when you weren't in the class, will greatly be missed. I so appreciate the three of you more than you could ever imagine. Thank you to all the seniors who helped with ITT this year. Don't ever forget my love and appreciation for you all, and don't ever forget to wink at the end. That's not all, but that's all we have time for today. For daily updates and more information, go to the school's website, ep309.org, or follow the school's social media accounts. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram at inside underscore the tribe. That's all for this week. Thanks for tuning into this edition of Inside the Tribe. I am Mr. Yang. And I'm Miss Dawson. And from everyone here at Inside the Tribe, have, have a, a great, great Raider, Raider Day. day.